Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have been out to some estate sales last week and wanted to show you what I found. I even went to a church rummage sale which was on Friday Friday morning I believe it was. So here's what I found. Um, went to one sale and all I got were the Swiffers. <laughs> They had put, it was, a, it was a family run sale, so we were really excited for it. We knew we were 15 minutes late. We walk up and there's a sign on the door that says um, uh, 8 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. Oh, they said, oh yeah, we decided to get an early start, but we forgot to change the, uh, the, the time on the ad. <laughs> so we got there an hour and 15 minutes later. My friend got some vintage Christmas stuff, but this was all I could find. Another guy had already bought an entire little um, plastic, um, you know those little plastic boxes that have all the little compartments in them? He'd already bought it full of jewelry, so I'm sure he got anything that was good. At the church rummage sale, I got this, which is one of those mail sorters that's got the butterflies across the front, as you can see right there. Those are fun. It just has a plain back, you know, and it's got the three hooks right there. It is really cold, that's why I have multiple layers on right now. Also at the church rummage sale, I got a couple of these, um, and that was $2 for the butterfly. These were a dollar a piece, so I got this set. I got this Melissa and Doug puzzle. It's brand new, still has this uh, saran wrap kind of stuff on it, plastic wrap, a dollar. And I got this Boeing B17G Flying Fortress kit. They've been open, but they're still all in the, um, the, the plastic hasn't been opened. I also got this, which is this Horses Brass Bookends. There's two of those. I think those were a dollar a piece. I'm trying to see what else I got there. That's really about it. They threw in some candles for free. Uh, and then we went to a family run sale and I got some jewelry. I We went here first and we waited over an hour for it to open and of course 30 minutes before um, it was supposed to open, my nemesis pulls up, my jewelry nemesis, and he's a nice guy. It's just, um, I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to change my tactics, you know, I've got to go faster, and he got distracted in another room that had some like silver plate stuff, and I could tell it wasn't sterling, so I went directly to the jewelry, and I was able to get a few things before he came in there. There are these kind of squiggly lightning bolt kind of things, and they say 925 right there. They were a dollar. There were these, and I was going to put them back, and I wasn't sure if they were anything, but they look like sterling. And then I realized, it's probably got the other one. I realized the other one had, had a mark up here on the earring uh, part. 925. So those were good for a dollar. Uh, so those um, got this little. Uh, Milli Fiori uh, paperweight for a dollar. It's not good quality. I thought it's better quality. I did get this. Look at this beautiful little Petty Point Native American ring. It is actually signed. It's got the green turquoise in it and it says Z Pena. Maybe it's uh, Mexican instead. Well, it looks like it's Native American. Anyways, it was two dollars. Then I got this Mexican silver um, set. Here it is, Taxco. So it's got inlaid with the green malachite, and it has the earrings to match. And this time they are actually post earrings, so I can wear them. I got this very big thing, and I know it's not, it's got like a 95% chance it is not silver, and there are no marks on it, but I thought, you know, for a dollar, I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, Two dollars, I got this pretty thing here, it is not marked, it just, it just, it was pretty, I like green, and I didn't realize that was the dragon, <laughs> so... Uh, this is cold to the touch. I'm hoping that it is a beautiful apple green jade bracelet. It was in a bag with this one, and this feels like plastic right here. Um, but I got it because of this, and it was $2 for the two bracelets. Went to another sale. Everything was half off, and I got the candles. As you can see, they were marked, whoops, 75 cents. 
Got them for half price. Got some of the, this thing, Yankee Candle. It's got those little beads in it. So there was another one just like it. And I opened it up uh, because I thought it was um, still, you know, unopened. And it still had the foil on it, but it had been ripped back some. And those little beads went all over the kitchen floor at the estate sale. <laughs> I'm having to yell for somebody to come help, you know, so nobody would slip and fall. I, I also got this Sudoku book, and it was marked 50 cents, so it was uh, 25 cents. So that is all that I got. I'm certainly hopeful that I will get more stuff um, at the next sales if everything turns out okay this week. So um, I'd love your any, any knowledge that you can share from me, and I'd love to get a note from you. Appreciate your subscriptions. Bye-bye.